We will talk about the video game module for the Flipper Zero. This module is equipped with a Raspberry Pi 2040 microcontroller. It will allow connection to a screen using HDMI cable. But this module is open source and made by the Flipper Zero team. So they didn't focus only about TV output. It will also include two sensors, a gyroscope and an accelerometer. And there is also GPIO and a USB-C port. This video will remain only about the basics function to use it to display the Flipper Zero to an external screen for presentation, for instance. And I really wanted to highlight Esteban's solution with a Raspberry Pi 2040 Pi Zero card, which is a cheaper alternative to the official module. However, it will require some modification and you will see it didn't turn well for me. Flashing the Raspberry 2040 using Esteban video game module firmware is pretty easy. You need to connect the module while holding down the button and connect the USB-C port. Esteban even provided compiled firmware, so I just had to drag and drop and voila, the firmware is flashed. As per user update process of the Flipper Zero because you will need the latest firmware for this module to be compatible and I have connected to an external PSU the 3.3 volt and ground in addition to the RX and TX pins. Like you could see without any spoiler my video game module is not being initialized or at least not being recognized by the Flipper Zero but I do not know why. I even contacted Esteban about the capacitor that he was using and he told me he had to use it because he had some crashes with application but it was not mandatory. Furthermore, I was using an external PSU to avoid stressing the Flipper Zero. Then I decided to use my UART, USB or even the Flipper Zero itself to connect with the Ericsson TX pin and see what's going on on a computer using a terminal. And then I see only question marks. That means I was not dialoguing with the correct speed. However, I tried with different speed and I still have like either question mark or nothing at all. I will need to investigate this further if I could get proper transmission with the Ericsson TX pin from this custom board. I didn't suspect it would be that difficult to follow a tutorial. However, I was really lucky to be able to still test the video game module. But I wanted to make a last remark. If you still consider to buy the custom board, you need to keep in mind the custom board is using mini HDMI whereas the official module is using a full-size one. To mitigate this, you could use an adapter like the one from the Raspberry Pi Zero kit or even a cable with a mini to full-size HDMI connection. Using the video game module is really plug and play and I was surprised because it's hot plug. You plug it and right away you have the green LID. That means you could plug your HDMI cable and voila, you are ready to make presentation using an output screen in front of your audience. And that's what I was looking for. Maybe in next video, I will show you other capabilities. Thank you for watching.